for Detroit really to, to let's say, turn the corner to be um, the type of city that it should be, it needs to be more global. And it needs to really I, identify itself as a city that's, that's open to new ideas, new people, new products, new companies. I went because um, a lot of my work in Detroit is, is directly related to finding international markets for Detroit-based creative talent. I went to specifically speak on a session on trends in design entrepreneurship, um, focus on exploring what um, the supply chain for Turkey's garment industry looks like, um, what Istanbul's garment district looks like, really being able to see it, feel it, talk with those on the ground there, and then also learn more best practices as to how they're growing their design economy there. That always tempers kind of our work in Detroit, so we can always benchmark against global peers. We find it to be much more um, valuable to see what's happening across the Atlantic, across the Pacific, because it really helps us um, get more of a global understanding of, of trends in, in this type of work. So that was really beneficial. It was also beneficial to see um, the value that um, the Turkish government and Turkish universities place on, on good design. Michigan has all of the assets to, to be a global player. We need to look at, at, at growing markets that share similarities, that share kind of our design prowess, our ability to manufacture and make things, but that are also growing. The type of growth that's happening in Turkey is, is good, sustainable growth. It's, it's, it's growth that's based on producing products and making things. Detroit can have global economies, so it can be a center of immigration, whether of peoples or of ideas or of products. Um, that's how Detroit's really going to transform in the next 10, 20 years.